So today's disease of the day is ringworm, also known as dermatophytosis, just the posh word, uh, meaning fungal infection. Not the most serious of diseases that we'll talk about this week, but can be a real frustration, um, can have an impact if you want to go to racecourse premises. You won't be allowed to enter if your horse has active ringworm lesions. Can be a problem in immunocompromised horses because it can uh, become quite generalised across the body. And it is zoonotic so it can affect people so uh, it can be really itchy and unpleasant if it spreads to you uh, or other members of the family so the characteristic signs of ringworm i suspect everyone's fairly familiar we get these circular areas of, of hair loss and crusty skin they can appear anywhere on the body um, they don't tend to be painful which can uh, help you differentiate them from bacterial infection but they can be itchy quite often they're not associated with any kind of discomfort at all so they don't seem to bother the horses particularly if they get around areas of tack though they can be an issue they can rub they can become sore so uh, they can affect the horse's performance if they if they affect those areas uh, it's something that's relatively easy to treat we need to confirm the cause though we don't want to be using antifungal or antibacterial drugs indiscriminately so um, the best way to confirm that it is a fungal rather than a bacterial infection is to get the vet to take some samples so they can take hair plucks and they can try and find the fungal organisms by looking down a microscope or a more accurate way a more reliable way um, although a slower way is to do a culture or preferably uh, the quick and easy way of getting a diagnosis is to look for the, the um, DNA from the affected from the fungal organisms that will be present in the hair shafts. And if that DNA is there, you can be confident that the organisms are there, the fungal organisms. What the DNA doesn't tell you, though, is whether the infection is active or whether you've already killed it. So it's good for the initial diagnosis. It's not so great for monitoring. But your vet can guide you on all this if you speak to them, if, if you've got concerns. And then um, treatment is just application of topical antifungal agents, which you can just shampoo on. You'll, you'll need to do it more than once, uh, but your vet can give you guidance on how to do that. And thankfully, uh, the infection is pretty easy to kill off if you get the right treatment from, from your vet. Um, the infection spreads from horse to horse quite easily. Uh, the fungal spores can move um, on objects. Um, they can hang around in stables, particularly in timber within the stables. So if you have had ringworm infection, you need to do a really, really thorough job of disinfection uh, with an antifungal agent. Just again, speak to your vet, make sure that you've got an antifungal product um, that's going to kill fungal spores. Some routine cleaning cleansing agents for stables won't kill the spores. So make sure you get something that's going to be effective uh, because otherwise it can hang around in your stables for ages and new horses that come in, particularly young horses that haven't got a great immunity, will continue to pick up the infection. So dealt with promptly and effectively it's really not too much of a problem um, so um, yeah just to sum up it's a it's a fungal infection that generally causes fairly localized lesions that don't cause too much of a problem um, but it, it can can be nasty uh, if it spreads to you can stop you going to racing premises if you're concerned about it speak to your vet get it diagnosed and then get some topical uh, antifungal treatments and that will relatively quickly get rid of it <laughs>